It really is do or die for Fnatic. They've only got one game won so far. They've got to at least get to three to even have a chance at tying the next closest team, Infamous. They lost game one against Secret. It was, to be honest, a train wreck. And now we enter game two wondering, will they adapt? Will they change? Do they just stick to what got them this far? Well, they're definitely changing in the ban phase. I think Nyx Assassin was one of the big reasons why Team Secret did so well. I think, honestly, Gyrocopter did the most in terms of breaking up the team fight. It made Io had a, such a tough time like getting his tether off without getting blown up, uh, blown up himself. So I think if Fnatic picks up Io first phase, they have to ban out Gyro second. Definitely agree. They'll they'll need to find the right bands, but there are a lot of counters to Io. Oh, Gyro. that is different. So something very fresh. A cast night first pick. We saw the LFY way of responding to this, which was the do so, uh, though it came much later in the draft. Curious if Secret would consider something similar. If this is a chaos knight first pick. Well, what else is coming, right? Because generally you, you pick your crazy let's, heroes let's towards the weird. end. Let's yeah. get weird. Let's get weird. Mid one is uh, put to sleep by this particular selection. Not impressed. We'll grab the witch doctor. Yep. Secret. Good against the illusions, I suppose. Uh, just kind of a safe, stable pick more than anything else very farm independent, which is, I think what we saw from Fnatic in part in that game was they, both of their supports needed space and they had three cores who needed space. There just wasn't enough space to go around. You know, Secret have a player like that in Yapsor who needs a lot as a support, but they give him that by drafting Puppy, this very selfless witch dog. It's also very good in the sense that all of these uh, strategy for Fnatic is just to run at you, right? Like they, they take fights in things like Shrine Area or in the jungle where Cask is going to be a stun on half your team for most of the time. Sanking going to be fairly similar. Remember the way that Team Secret opened the draft of last game? It was two AoE stunners. That applies a lot of pressure and it's very good on, again, those jungle-esque fights where once you get a two-member strike, you're going to have a, a good time. An apparition, the selection from Fnatic looking for the pickoff. They really have that reliable setup just yet. Of course, the Faceless Void is out there. He's probably been the most popular in that regard. I mean, Chaos Bolt in the lane, right? Chaos Bolt, Cold it, Feet. It's okay, yeah. I, it's not a team fight setup for an Ice Blast. You also have to be pretty close. That's the other thing. Um, so I think it's it's fine, but they'll definitely want more. The Batriders ban. That's probably the most popular pick like for the, the Chinese teams when they grab AA. Yep. It's also historically one of the best heroes against Fnatic. Fnatic don't generally have hard disables, so when let's say Kyo gets grabbed by Batrider and they don't have an IO, they, there's just no way of saving Kyo. He just gets dragged in and killed. So generally Fnatic always open up their bands with uh, Batrider if they can. Ten seconds remaining. Oh, the clock gets banned. The clock's been seen a little less play in our, our particular casts. We yep. saw a lot of the Clock Shadow Fiend, but... We also saw Clock Shadow Fiend lose a lot. Yeah. Some teams shine away from it, I suppose. It's one of uh, Febby's go-to heroes when he, whenever he's not playing on the aisle. They like to have a hero like have, you know, to run in, soak up some damage, provide some disables, and then Kyo jumps in for the, for the thing. No, I, I'm kind of casting this game as if Fnatic is going for the same standard true Kyo-esque draft. It seems like they're moving away from it, but, you know. We can't tell. No, oh, or maybe they just picked three carries again. <laughs> That's certainly possible. This Chaos Knight could be the Ajit hero. It could be even an aggressive duel or tri lane potentially. Maybe Ohio takes it up then. Maybe it's the QO hero mid. Return of the support Chaos Knight? Was that ever a thing? Hopefully not. I just remember FY playing it in a position four. And he got an Agonims on it once. Made his Terrible more Terrible Illusions. It went off. More Terrible. <laughs> more ter <laughs> no, it made the Terrible pretty good. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I, I, it's okay. I do think the hero just... Yeah, his first two abilities are okay on their own. Like, the, the crit's all right on its own. But really, he, he scales so well with items. And I 
Sure. He's yeah. so reliant on Phantasm. I'm throwing that one out there. It's just kind it's of a like a stretch to put him as a yeah. support. In my it happened once in history. History of Dodor. Grab the Shaker now. Secret. Heavy on the team fight. Heavy on the AoE to counter an illusion based carry. How will Fnatic adapt? They grab the puck. All right. This is starting to feel different, Lumi. So I don't think that's a QO puck. I guess you never know. I mean, Puck is one of those heroes that could snowball, and you could very likely do it just kind of on your own. Just have to walk around and find picks. But will he snowball hard enough to solo carry? Like what Kyo likes to do? Probably not. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it could be, a, I think, Ohio more likely to play the Puck in the off lane, mm -hmm. if anything. I just don't see Fnatic as a Puck team. It's a hero that they rarely draft. They always generally ban it out, so... They don't have to deal with such a pesky, hard to catch hero. Pretty good puck game so far. Lots of stuff that you can you can dodge with the phase shift pretty reliably if you're quick with your fingers. The silence is huge. Very very good game for a puck to shine and be disruptive if he's on point. Do they try to sneak like a? A Drowin, maybe? Catch Secret off guard? From Fnatic? Yeah. I think... I think that's possible. It's just always a little bit awkward when you have, like, Chaos Knight that needs the safe lane, Drow wants the safe lane, and... Yeah. Maybe if you move Chaos Knight to the support? Secret are gonna go ahead and grab there and poker. I mean, Secret is just, like, we're gonna do our own game plan. You know, we're, we're gonna stun, we're gonna stun strike, we're gonna pick on your AA. Also, Invoker adds a lot of ways to counter the, All right. the CK. It is more of the same now. The QOPA coming at you. Yep. And Invoker, one of the very slow-moving heroes. In the mid lane, you, you get stif Stifling Dagger, you have an Ice Vortex on you, you are not moving. Chilling Touch, very, very good synergy with Phantom Assassin, as well as Chaos Knight, I suppose. I wonder if we're going to see a return of the Quas Wex build that mid one pulled out earlier, or are we going to see more of the standard stuff from mid one? I think it'll probably be Quas Exhort. They have like really good setup for Sunstrike. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen I mean, it just comes down to whether you want to defend yourself, right? Because the Exhort build does not defend yourself at all. Right. I, I expect Quas Exhort. Um, I also think the nuke damage is really nice against PA. Like you don't care about that evasion. You can blow her up very easily. And I also think it, it's more useful against the potential carry CK. But we will see. Option is still there for secret. In that case, they'll definitely need a harder carry for MP. We have the PL here to round things out, Fnatic do. Yep, one of, I believe, the most uh, picked carry for Team Secret. MP has been playing it a ton. Number five. How do they put a bow on this? Ten seconds remaining. So, is it support CK? That's basically the question. Five seconds. Yeah, and I don't think it it will be. I think that's really risky. Yeah. But I also I do understand. Like, do you want to run a carry CK when you're facing so much AOE to shut him yeah, down? Yeah, that's true. So maybe you do want to lean towards it. It's kind of a pickle for Fnatic. They probably don't want to support CK. But they also probably don't want to carry CK right now. And that, hey, you pick them first, you know, that's that's liable to happen. The, which, hero, the hero is not a jack of all trades. Which to me still com is confusing, right? Like you could you could open up with AA Puck or something and that would have been... Unless, you know, uh, that's almost where I do lean towards maybe it is a support, just like bait secret into worrying about it too yeah, much. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it's really not, but we'll <laughs> see, we'll see. But what do you think the team needs against what this line has got? They have okay initiation. They're okay at taking objectives. Like, it's a, if the CK is a core, you know, I think they're very good at skirmishing and finding pickoffs. Um, and pretty good at killing structures as well. But, like, there's so much AoE, I don't know if you really can count the illusions for much. So, I think they're still a little light in the apartment. I like to see a hero that could get a mech for them. Like something that allows them to help them to group up, which is certainly something that they always got from Ohio. Now, oh, the Ohio nature's prophet is yeah. it? Is so, that what we're looking at here? 
Is this a support puck? I mean, we've seen EG do that. Position 5 puck. Huh. I am unsure. I assume it's a QOPA. Yeah, that's... Support AA, for sure. Yeah. So then, the real question... I, I think it's an Ohio Nature's Prophet and... That'd be chaos, then. And an Ajit puck, if anything. All yeah. right. There you go. Woo, this is something different. But I gotta say, the Sven last pick, it's very good, man. This lineup, a lot of physical damage. You Warcry, and people are tanking. Yeah, Warcry, and you just shrug off everything that PA brings to bear. Like, PA has to show up with the Thesso before she could even hit people. It's gonna be tough. I There's think a this... timing window here for Fnatic. If QO has that great start, he gets the early BKB, he's able to just jump and delete. You know, ideally mid one, maybe Kezu or the Sand King of Yapsor, then they can start the fight, right? But it's also going to get to the point where, you know, Secret can just outlast him. And when the BKB stops having its long duration, they can easily kite and punish him when it's down. And they don't really have a big save for the PA. There's nothing to enable her this game. No IO, you know, they don't really have another frontliner. A support CK is not actually that tanky, so save it's, he's gonna go in and kill people that's right but there's, save. there's nothing to heal her like they're just gonna nuke him down right so that's what i mean like there's no io to protect him there's no nobody to help sustain his aggression in the fights nah he's gonna go and kill people no, i'm I not agree. buying it i'm not i'm not buying it i agree with you completely and that's why I, earlier i said you know I, I feel like you should have a pipe hero or a mech hero of some sort that could help you sustain and, and take pro fights because generally these fights do take a while uh, from the finish. Well, we'll see what Fnatic thinks. I mean, you could technically get a mech on, on Profit, but that's just not, not the way to go, I think. To the bitter end, Fnatic will stand by what got them here, what earned them the ticket to TI. They will not change their style. I think this game will be much more competitive. I feel like this draft matches up very well against uh, Team Secret. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a little more balanced. It's not as it's not as horribly greedy as the last game either. Like they have an actual tempo controller core rather than just the sand cane five position support. So that sense I like it. I'm still skeptical. I, I do look at this game as one another one of those cases where Fnatic is like one way to win and certain timings they have to hit. Um, or Secret have lots of ways they can win and lots of different routes they could take depending on how the game unfolds. Secret taking a very defensive stance. I, we I wonder whether they actually saw the smoke being used or saw somebody had a smoke when uh, mid one sunstrike into the base. It's just a very common move anyway. Like a lot of teams smoke at level one. Like not necessarily the full on jungle invasion. But mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're playing it safe. You know, like Fn they know Fnatic's desperate. They're going to have to be cheesy, right? They have to take huge risks. This particular the game is their playoff lives are now on the line. So what do they do? They sent Febby, DJ, and Ohio down into the jungle. They're going to start QO off mid. Does he get help, or is QO just solo? Well, I'm not sure how much a Chaos Knight could help, right? Maybe right. Chaos Knight will backstab mid with, you know, a couple of Reality Riff, apply some Minus oh, Armor. look at the wards. They're ready for this rotation. Febby marches in, and there's a tri-lane of Secret here to greet him. They drop oh. down the sentry. Oh, but Yapsor is quicker. Instantly eats him. Sorry, that was actually an op. But yeah. In any case, Ward down now. They're going to pull Yapsor back, trying to focus him. Don't have the damage quite yet, so it is a good old 3v3 mid. I think this lane favors Fnatic, I believe. Ajit should have the advantage lane against Kezu. And the 1v1 between Prophet and Sven, you know, being the range hero, Prophet is advantage there as well. So if they could keep this kind of two supports dancing in the jungle, Fnatic is slightly favored. I also think that PA does fine against mid one. Yeah, I would agree. Starting with the poor man's shield is huge against Invoker, whose early damage is not that great. You can harass him pretty effectively. Uh, he's the much more gankable of the two targets as well. So. Right, we'll see Yapsor streaming into the lane. QO trying to play as aggressive as humanly possible. Historically, Sven was viewed as a pretty good lane matchup against Prophet just because he's like good at pressuring the Treance with the cleave. Mm -hmm. um, but and he has that he usually has supports in exactly scenarios. like he has kill potential with storm hammer and a, and a plus one right but in a straight up one v one, I think Prophet just you know walks in and out hits you a couple of times. Yeah, they're gonna bring the witch doctor in, and remember there is the sunstrike threat, so there is a slight kill potential. Maybe Absor even smokes there. 
but I would agree, especially with static lanes and if they're just trading auto attacks, Fnatic should try to get the edge, keep the pressure on MP. At the same time, you know, MP doesn't have to be fat for them to win oh. this game. Kuo blinks Q -O. in. Aggressive maneuver from him. Oh, what? Debbie tries to save him by pulling mid one forward, but... Are we still on the same page? Some heavy harass for it. Feels like people are going in for different targets. It's like QO's playing like he has an IO behind him. That's yeah. basically how I see it. And he... So I'm on CK, guys. But good old Bevy, always there to clean up QO's mess. <laughs> what a guy. The model teammate. Okay, we got the lanes kind of resetting once again. QO waiting for his bottle gold to get more uh, mana for. Stifling Dagger. Although at this point, though, the Invoker already has a Magic Stick. And I think this Magic Wand, rather, is going to be pretty vital for him to actually survive against what Kyo is throwing at him. Well, Ajit did force Kezu back to the well. But it's going to TP right back out. They are rotating on Kyo. Yapsor into the trees. It's probably pretty aggressive for not having that uphill ward available. And Yapsor thinking about potential burrow, but not going to commit to that. Yeah, unfortunately oh, for Kezu, top lane. Almost got a solo kill on Ajit. was mid-totem. And Ajit was in kill range, but quite a lot of time. Rotation coming in. The Absor going to go into Sandstorm. Burrow strikes through. Only a one second stun. Here comes Kuo. Blinks in. Applies a slow. But too late. MP yeah. through the first blood. Bottom lane with the help of Puppy. Ohio goes down. So a slight, a missed opportunity top for Kezu, then a first blood that should have been for Fnatic mid, but secret just too quick. Meanwhile, mid one is farming up a storm now. He's almost double QOCS. Supposed to be easier for the PA earlier. It gets harder later on as the invoker gets more damage and the Ford spirits come online, but. Yeah, he's also been using a lot of Stifling Dagger just on Kyo, or sorry, on onto mid one as a harass. I'm not sure whether it's even worth it. Every time he gives him a dagger, he's got a, a magic stick charge, and also he has triple Quas Orb just to regen it. Like, Invoker is constantly at 4 HP anyways. Gonna make that rotation of the jungle for now, mid one, while the lane is pushed, plays it safe, it is nighttime. Bobby, meanwhile, is there. Scouting out Yapsor is moving forward. They want to try and turn this thing around onto MP. Will he turn into Cold Feet? He will, but still, he's healthy through this. Ohio tanked up the Sun Strike, but Debbie continues pursuit. He's committing on the spend, but he can't repel this magnitude of damage as MP just easily deals with what's being thrown at him. Actually gets the Chaos Knight kill. Yapsor tries to get away. He will do so for now. Ohio does have the phase boots. One more auto attack will do the trick. Does he guess right? Oh. MP's looking to cage him. He's low enough that a cast and a couple auto attacks with a storm ball coming. There will be the death of Ohio. Baited in, and now Yapsor's looking to make a three bottom lane. A full wipeout as Fnatic again fall short. This team just cannot get anything going. Well, they might get something going on the mid lane. Febby behind the tree line has dust available. Reality Rift, they're going to stun him up. They're going to bring him back. Minus armor applied. And now the Magic Wand brings him back up. The Sun Strike's going to be there. Q divides the damage. The tower and the right click. Q almost goes down. Febby goes in for the kill, and they will take him down with the dagger. Now Febby's trapped. Can he do something? He's trying to tangle himself out. He eats another tree. He needs to juke up. He should be fine. Poker respawning though, he's gonna have a sun strike up in about five seconds. Might try to take a crack at him. Uh oh, Burrow strike, sun strike, gonna be on point. Oh, he jukes left. Oh, oh, boy. The boy that barely lives, he squirts away, lives to fight another day. Ooh, time to try. Oh, that was very fortuitous. This game felt like it could completely spiral out of control, but Fnatic will come through with the salvage. And they are gonna start hitting that little moment where they can really try to up the tempo. Ajit has his level 6. He can start the fights. The Prophet can be the plus 1 support. The big issue, DJ won't have you know, a pretty particularly fast timing on his ultimate, so there's no Ice Blast to add, but still, they'll go aggressive. They dive on the mid one. Still no points in Wax, so can't Ghost Walk out of these situations. I mean, Ghost Walk wouldn't help anyways. There's dust available on Febby. I think he got it mostly for the Sanking, but... No, I think he, he just got in case mid one has the point of wax. The Q 
he popped it on the invoker earlier, even though he hasn't actually oh, I see. yet. Ajit so. ports bottom, but there is a lane ward, so if he takes the lane route, he's gonna get scouted. Instead, though, he goes into the jungle. They see Yapsor. That D sandstorm. Oh, where's that dust? Didn't expect the early point, I suppose. No, he's seen actually, it multiple times. Okay. Yeah. I just caught off guard. It's set. They're gonna go on to MT. The coils come in. I don't think they realized Ajit was here. And now, with the cold feet coming through, the silence as well, the profit ult on top of it, they will get the kill. QO, thinking about a dive on mid one, just keeps on lobbing in those daggers, looking for a crit. He's gonna grab his own Blightstone. That'll be two for the team. Still mid one is farming well, though, despite the pressure. Oh, they're gonna go for him. Casket's gonna start things off. There is a Sunstrike right on point. Burrow Strike to follow through and QO. Getting the everything. Getting the everything indeed. But good news for Fnatic, they're at least pressuring elsewhere. This tower bottom's about to drop, Ajit scoring the last hit. So the rest of the team is doing what they can to put secret, like force them to stop paying so much attention to this mid lane. But then secret uh -oh, they come in even deeper. They get the storm bolt off. The follow-up comes through. Quick kill for them and God strength. So close, MP just a bit short of the level for it. I wonder if Febby was watching a different part of the map. He stood in front of his tower, he threw a stun on a range tree, and just died. Not sure what a CK could do defending against 4 hero, but tier 1 will go down. But like you said, pressuring elsewhere. Ajit is really the, the only one that's doing Yapsor might kill this courier on the retreat. One. Oh, he's going to take oh, more burst. auto attacks. Okay. Let's make it back to safety. But yeah, they get the mid tower in the end. They actually had coil up before, like long before that tower died, but still no ice blast. DJ's only level four. Fabi only level three. Supports are starved. Yep. And CK is not a support that you can starve. Really wants 10 at least to. Even if he doesn't get items, he at least needs levels for the yep. max chaos bolt, the leveled up reality rift. What is the support build on CK? You max your first two spells and right. you go for very basic items. So urn, drums, that kind of stuff, medallion. Do you even try to build stuff like an armlet? Or like Only if you're snowballing really hard because yeah. you're not going to have to farm for it. Like he's such a bad flash farmer too. Yeah, your farm comes from kills. And if you have a ton of kills, then you could, you know, do whatever you want. And so far, he's got not very many kills. Looks like we're going to see a smoke attempt here from Fnatic. Interesting to see them not really joining up with Ajit, because I feel like he is by far their most, you know, high nuker, initiator, stunner. But maybe that's too obvious, you know, if you the, the puck is on the map, Secret might feel safe. They could find MP here. He's going to farm that Ancient Camp. Prophet will be the plus one. Drags the Ancients back. Looking to stack the no box right into the waiting arms of the Chaos Knight. Quick reality rip. Chaos Bolt combo gets the crit. Gets the kill, DJ. Might be in the last hit there. And now a TP coming in. Puppy wants to contest this. The rest of Secret is flanking from the rear. They've got to get out of here quickly, but that cast keeps on bouncing. Perfect bounces. Yep, so he's getting into position. He only gets the one hero stun, but it's on Kubo with the Sunstrike coming through. Nobody did split it. He's low. The Maledict might just take him down with this last tick. He actually runs back in, tries to hit a creep. Down he'll go. DJ barely surviving, TP out, oh. gets out of there in time. And Miwa on the river, Ohio on a shred of HP, he gets plinked down mid one with the finish. So they lose a few on the way out. Two cores biting the dust and a dire courier also going down in the river while that was happening. Costly engagement. And once again, it seems secret coming out on top. Yeah, once they took the casket, after getting the kill, they just needed to run up and to the right, just exit that area. But I think, again, a little bit of indecision for the team. Half the team wanted to fight, half the team wanted to escape. And I think it, it really harkens back to the point you made in the draft. Like, Kask is particularly good against Fnatic because, yep. I mean, A, they pick Io a lot, which didn't happen this game. And B, they always fight away from creeps. Like, they're diving in the woods, they're trying to go for smoke ganks more so than other teams. And we saw it there. Puppy got like, what, six cast, cast bounces? Like, yep. basically as many as you can hope for. Normally, Fnatic's a team that 
picks the, the Witch Doctor themselves. Coil's gonna get used, Yapdor's gonna Burrow Strike, break the Coil, can they have the stun? But here comes MP with the Warcry, in fact, they wanna go in. Nice face shift on the dodge, Febby comes in with a double damage, and AA Ice Blast flies in, hits absolutely nobody, and it's time to dis, uh, disengage. Yeah, they need to combo that Ice Blast with the Coil. Meanwhile, si Kessna getting caught on the way out, the Sun Strike's there, it's another connection. He incinerates. He'll have to back away. Yeah, on the Witch Doctor point, Fnatic normally likes to pick Witch Doctor for the same reason. You know, you take a lot of fights in the jungle, but it doubles up also as a restoration tool, right? You, you're saying, in particular with this draft, QO blinks in and then he gets focused and he dies. Voodoo Restoration lets your team to keep going in these chaotic fights. So, I They're honestly think... They're still going aggressive. They're trying to chase down Puppy, but Secret are ready for these invasions. They bring the whole team there, not quite able to lock him down. The Ice Blast comes out from DJ. Could be an opening. Kezir's about to shatter. They get the kill. They keep DJ alive. Okay. A two for nothing. Fin oh, never mind. A two for one. Yeah, Maledic Maledic. brings him down. Oh, not too bad. Scrappy by Fnatic. They're going to keep that pressure up. Still, though, mid one is having a good start, and that is a concern as they look to pressure bottom. The Apsor lurks in the trees. No epicenter skilled up yet. He went for the max Samsor build. And the Sprout. Hey! How you doing, Yapsor? He then looks to leave the safe confines of his tower, retreats. Cask will slow down those creeps. QO has been quietly farming during this time. Yep. Still pretty poor, though. Does yeah. He, unless he has something on the courier. Does he? Uh, he might. The courier oh, did die. Oh, it's boost. Okay, yeah. so no mithril hammer yet. Ice Blast coming in, and it should hit on Witch Doctor. That is going to be another kill. Meanwhile, they're going to go on Yapsor. They have vision. Coil's going to get used. Burrow Strike. Is it available? One more second, and he is dead. Fnatic, the rest of four Fnatic, giving a lot of space to that PA. Normally, PA gets his uh, Desolator really from kills, but got to get it from the creeps this time. It's hard to fight right now, right? Like, if, if you don't have the Deso, the kills are slow enough that very likely you're getting echoed, fissured, burrowed, like cold snapped, and then you're probably dying, which means even if your team gets the kill, uh, you're not really getting a big net win gold, and you need that to get this Deso. So. Right. First hammer ready to go. Phase boots going to be coming out momentarily. He's getting there. And you have to imagine as soon as that Deso is complete, that's a big timing window that Fnatic immediately go on the offense with. For sure, yeah. Febby's going to go for the urn. No, basic support item. Good mana region for the Chaos Knight, at least. Cost of something that can blunt the aggression. One blink up on our Shaker. Second one, about 700 gold away on the Absor. You'll likely have double blink by that 18 minute mark. If all goes well, and if this fight goes well, it might be sooner. A secret smoke up. They're going to look to make a play. They're streaming towards bottom. DJ out in front right now. No vision exactly of this, but Yapsor trying to find that opening. He does connect. DJ's there. Sunstrike catches him out. Cast comes through. He lobs up the Ice Blast. He doesn't get to stop it, though, as he is stunned, so it only debuffs Yapsor. Suboptimal for sure. Now Ohio trapped out on the other side. MP's joining the party because that tier 2 is still up. The Burrow Strike comes through. Ajit's got to salvage this. He gets one. The Shaker's down, but he's already done most of the damage that he needs to. As Febby gets ticked by the Maledic, forced on his heels with the Death Ward. The stun coming through. I think that last one likely gets him. He tries to earn. It's instantly disabled. Febby's going to tick down. QO joins the fight, but again, no Desolator yet. Ajit doesn't have the damage. So they will have to back away. Meanwhile, Yapsor went down again. So, back and forth, relatively even fight for these teams. Yeah, I'm surprised that QO joined the fight um, in the first place, because I don't think he could contribute that much. I think he helped getting one kill, but like you mentioned, getting the Desolator to me should be their priority number one. Winning the fights now would be nice, but getting that uh, Desolator will help them win so many more fights after that. They're still going. They want Kezu, but they have to kill this tower first. They're Trying to fight off more than they can chew, it really seems to me. As the Sunstrike comes through, Yapsor there with the stall, now the cast bouncing. The tower at 137 HP. But Fnatic keep on committing for the heroes. They're also running very low in terms of drum charges. I feel like... How are you liking the support CK? I don't feel like he's doing much, to be honest. I think the fact that his Reality Rift does minus armor is... Very consequential, especially up against the Sven. 
it might not seem like he's doing much because it's Warcry, but if you don't have a uh, CK support, your PA and your, your profit's going to do even less. So to me, he's actually a decent en enabler. I'm normally not a big fan of the CK support, but this game is quite decent. Maybe a Dazzle, though, ultimately would, would help them a little bit more. The Weave kind of synergize. But it's kind of like you said, you know, like they pick the first overall in the draft. And you can't really complain too much about it. Yeah, I, I just imagine like if that's, uh, you know, something like a Nyx or uh, an SK, like they had the first overall pick, right? Yeah. So like, would that be offering more than the CK right now? I still kind of feel like it would be, but in any case, Fnatic will play with the, the cards they dealt themselves at this point forward. So Ohio working towards an Orchid now. They are 400 away from Deso. Why not wait? Fnatic goes for a smoke gank right into the Shrine of Secret well, they with have... DJ leading it. And will connect. They find someone and they're going to try to make their move. Echo though is there. The turnaround comes through. This could get ugly. Kezu with the totem doing work and now blinking out and trying to get back to safety is QO. He's 200, 300 gold away from that. Desolator can't afford to find out that they've given up more kills. Aja trying to bait them in. QO low. QO dead. He doesn't get the Deso in time. No, he, he got, got it. Did. He, got he it, just yeah. fought it. Yeah, he got a just little more fought it. Ball, like, right? Literally, as the puck is that kill, oh, that would have been bad if he didn't. MP. Salvage, but MP's going to start cleaning up here. He finds a fourth. It's likely to be a team wipe, even if they managed to buy the item. Was it worth it? The cast following him across the universe, and Ajit will pay a five-man wipe. They're just playing right into Secret's hands. Yeah, and I, I wonder if it's... They truly believe whether they could have won the fight without the Desolator, but it was so close. Like, a Deso would have completely and utterly changed that fight. Especially on a PA, right? It just makes the kills happen so fast. Look at DJ, he's away from the team. It seems like the team is just not on the same page. The team fight begins, they do kill the fast, but then, oh my god, this is... top lane, revving up the epicenter, making the move here, going for the solo kill, actually has the support. From above range down, the artillery of mid one, and Secret grab another. There were three low HP heroes in that fight for Secret who all got off multiple extra abilities and like uh, stayed alive for another 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen if he has a death. Although unfortunately, they also fought without vision. That's why that, you know, y uh, Yapsor was able to come in with, or not Yapsor, uh, Kezu was able to come in with such a big echo slam. I think DJ wanted to set up vision uh, before the fight happened. And unfortunately for Fnatic, they just kind of ran into somebody too soon. Another stun strike. Keeping eyes on the Roshan now. And that will be the next objective for Fnatic. With the Deso complete, with the, the Prophet Triance, they definitely could take this Rosh reasonably quickly. Fighting around the pit is also dangerous. A secret just has so much AoE, so much control, and a good tool to scout it with those Forge Spirits. Will Fnatic take a fight now? DKB is next on the list for QL. Yep. They don't have smokes anymore, I don't think. So it's going to be tough finding the right angle. Um, this goes back to the issue of initiation. They do have the puck for that. And Febby for a little bit of follow-up. It just comes down to who they initiate on and how quickly can they kill. Oh, nice scan. Let's find one, but Prophet ports out. MP getting to work, banging away at this tower. Will bring it down. So a, a nice objective here claimed for Secret. This is also really all about the Roshan that we touched on is this map control. Allows you to project force much more easily towards the pit. Good map sense here by QO. Identifies Secret are likely in the woods. He's going to retreat to the safety of his tier two top. Fnatic just sticking together. It seems like their next plan is let's get the BKB for this PA. So I, they may even wait for that additional item before taking another big fight. Especially after the way the last one. But that also means a lot of time for mid one. Like, yeah. Do you want to play the farm game against a Quas Exhort Invoker with a Midas and against the Sven, who is actually the leader in Network? That that seems like something Secret will be completely fine with. I just think that Fnatic, without smoke, they have such a tough time going into the enemy jungle undetected. They are not um, keeping up in terms of vision game compared to Team Secret. Yeah, I would agree. So, 
It's, it's, it's they want to work. fight, but they can't fight. We're in that, like, one more item, and then I'll fight. One more item, and then I'll fight mindset for Fnatic. But you can't you can't live in that mindset when the other team turbo farms, and you don't. Yeah. So, they'll wait for now. You shove in these lanes as much as possible. Really like the item choices coming out from Team Secret. Invoker has a plate mail queued up, not something that you see very often, especially in this stage of the game. And of course, once again, we have Witch Doctor Puppy going for the Casual Buckler for his team, going for the Medallion of Courage. Look at his plus armor. And the armor that he could give to his allies. Counters the PA pretty hard, if you ask me. So Orchid also completed on the Nature's Prophet. It's a potentially fight-changing item. There's no Yule Scepter being built right now by Kezzer. He wants a four staff. So they can shut down the Shaker. There is a Yule's coming for Yapsor, though. So that'll be a limited utility, I suppose. Perhaps most importantly, you'd, you'd love to silence the Invoker in these upcoming fights. Epicenter oh. being channeled, looking for the opening bottom lane, and they will strike gold. Ohio down again. These little Epicenter Sunstrike ambushes continue to deliver for Secret. And meanwhile, they're also just the two pronged assault. They Ooh. went for the echo, but a nice juke away. Ajit baits them out. It's a trap for a secret as the ice blast comes in, but didn't even get punished for it. Instead, no, Febby. One more auto attack would bring him down. Completely salvaged. That could have been awful. Yeah. Ajit, very fast reaction with the phase, dodging that echo slam. That was pretty sick, too. Fnatic doesn't pay for it. Ajit and Afu are having a hell of a tournament, huh? His old teammates. One is having a better tournament than the other. I mean, I think Ajit's played very well individually, personally. Like, he's cons like last game, like, he's consistently done his job in the laning stage, just the lineups are not built for him to shine. Yeah. Yeah, obviously <laughs> very different results for the team. Yeah. Definitely not disputing that. One puppy. Finally, Fnatic are going to get a quick pick here. Something they've been unable to secure for most of the game. Oh, Nature's Wrath bouncing through. Does reveal the fact that there's a ward here. Pings come out immediately from secret. It's just that PIBKB. I like. I. I'm not sure what else. Fnatic are close to that would really turn the tide. Lincoln Spear is coming on top. There's so much AOE. I don't really feel like that's a big game changer. You know, Nature's Prophet is building his own BKB, but you don't want to be. Just going into a right-click war with a Sven and then Invoker. So it just seems like the QO's next item, and then presumably Fnatic are going to try to make a play. Yeah, the play happens now then, I guess. BKB is en route. QO picks it up. There's that smoke. They got everything. I think QO would prefer to have a little bit more mana. Oh, they're going to find someone, but it's Puppy. It's only oh. the Witch Doctor. The position, oh, oh, oh. they don't even get him. They're so afraid. Now they go in. Now Ajit wants to commit. The clue comes out for the immediate counter initiation. A huge volley of damage. A secret go for the big punish now. Charging forward MP is going to usher Febby away. Meanwhile, QO does get into the back line. He sliced down one. They need to kill off mid one if possible. QO just to say, screw it, man. I'm TPing out of here. That leaves Ohio left to the Wolves, and he will die. Three have fallen. It's likely to be four. The hesitation is a great killer. That's four fanatic heroes once again are assassinated. I feel like if you have a smoke gank, you're walking up a ramp and you get your smoke broken. That's the whole point, right? You're like trying to kill people. I'm not sure why they backed off. They backed off and then they went back in. Yeah, it was like back off, okay. You yeah. know, debatable. Back off. And then I just said Go back in. Yeah, okay. And you're just asking for trouble. And it was on a witch doctor too. Yeah, and the problem was QO was not there also for the fight. He finally goes in and kills Puppy eventually, but Oh, not the BKB debut that Fnatic were praying for. And with that, see what these next items are that are coming soon. It looks like a Bloodthorn is now being constructed by MP, and that will prove the solution to this PA, perhaps, uh, as the BKB charges get lower. They don't really seem to have too much trouble with them right now. They just kind of ignore them in the fights. That is one concern for Fnatic, right? Like, their actual control for the PA. You want heroes to be stunned or not moving so that you can just keep on hitting them during DKB, but all they have is Coil and a Chaos Bolt, so... In theory, that should be enough, um, because 
PA is a hero that kills so very quickly. Like, if you go on the target all at the same time... But they have Warcry. Yeah, that's the other thing. A Warcry, Medallion, Buckler. Everyone just super tanky. Ice Blast needs to be on top of people for them to have a shot. Secret is smoking. Look towards this mid tower. MP far out in front while his team scouts everywhere. And he will take the tower down. So tier 2 claimed and Yapsor going in. He is baited by some illusions. Bebis doesn't dare approach with the real hero. They start to resort to a little split push here where Ohio wanted a BKB before. He's changed the call now on that MP. Shadow Blade is the choice. And this might be a tell about how Fnatic look to approach this game moving forward. Meanwhile, Secret claiming the roast that so desperately Fnatic were searching for. That is extra salt in the wound. And Secret are looking solid, Lumi. They've, you know, they, they haven't had the best, like, numerical result, but at least in all the games we've seen of them, like, they've been in contention every game. They almost... 2 ODG, I think they really could have if they just played a little more crisp. They're yep. looking very good here, and now they're looking good as they jump in mid. They'll find Febby, Echo, Sunstrike. These combos with the Invoker, they're just so comfortable executing them. I mean, this is Team Secret's bread and butter, right? This is the reason why they were at TI. They qualify. A lot of the games were off the, the, the Invoker combo. You know, they sit back and farm, and they send out roam parties, whether it's Epicenter on the Sand King, Echo Slam on the Shaker, Follow up with the easy kills. So the casual plate mail for mid one, but uh, now he's going back for BKB. Yep. And once he gets that BKB, it's only the PA, QO will have to lock him down. Puck. Puck's not going ags or anything, so yeah, lockdown will be limited. Double damage rune is bottled up. This could be the comeback. Duo makes something happen. MP is revealed. Think of the trees. Oh, Ohio's gonna find him now, but the Fissure comes through the blink. Surprise on the QO. Ice Blast connects. QO is shredded up by MP. Slicing through him with ease. That giant sword. Sure packs a punch. Dead for 60. No buyback. Ohio's next. Fnatic are really, really screwed. I don't think the blur did anything. <laughs> he didn't miss a single hit, he just went in. And, and it's certainly it. not going too soon with this Bloodthorn coming. Just praying for the BKB to last long enough. I don't think PA really wins these fights, Lumi. No, I don't think so. Going it's... late, Sven is going to crush her. The Warcry in particular is just making this math not working out in their favor. Really smart choice by Secret and, you know, credit to MP. As looked like a role player at times, kind of like the, you know, the way No Tail is with Miracle, uh, or has been, you know, in the past, where he was just making space for him on the old OG. But you know, that is certainly not the case here. MP is the leader in that work. He has been a huge force in this game, and he's also been finding his fights at the right time. It's also more of Fnatic not really trying to focus him down. Like they've paid a lot more attention to mid one to slow him down. Uh, just trying to slow down this push, but. Almost delaying the inevitable. Echo comes through, oh. Fisher connects. Nicely done by Kezu. And now the Sunstrike trying to stay alive here as long as possible. The pesky fairy dragon will blink away to safety. Still in this fight. Mid one on the run and QO. BKB with the defusal. Can they kill him? Oh. Oh, there's the crit he's been searching for. Now they can cut up MP. But MP is big. He is bad. Yapsor coming through. Still not hey. able to find these kills. There's the crit. There's the RNG. Oh. MP coming back though. I think he could win this man fight, especially when he's getting help. Yeah, he had to fuse a play as well. He will pop Burgess in here. There. Finally, he finally gets the crit. Finally, they get their fight. That 10k gold lead does start to evaporate, but next time around there will be a Bloodthorn, and he might win the man fight for that Sven. No, well, depends if, B if BKB is up. Uh, Ohio got the Beyond Godlike streak here from the PA. So. Yeah. A big injection of gold. Looks like he's going to go into the BKB, which honestly doesn't help him much against this Sven, but still just uh, kind of ward off all the disables. That it secret. is already a seven second BKB, so it is getting pretty low for QL. Yeah. 
The next Roshan could be a few minutes off as Ohio goes for the rat, but Kezu is just happening to be waiting there. Oh, Ohio, gotta be careful. Ice Blast coming in. Sprout's there. It is gonna debuff him, but looking for the return is mid one. He TP's in, Sunstrike is there, and it connects. Ohio goes splat, now looking for more QO. BKB again, engaging forward, but already he's been controlled. The Maledict forcing him back in a way, and the Burrow connection. Oh, that BKB is not long enough anymore. He may just go down. No. Barely able to blink out in time, Sunstrike. Pulling down pretty soon. Can they turn the fight? Ajit rejoins it. They're gonna pull back in Yaps where they control him. They finish him. QO weaving his way in and out of this fight. And so far able to stay alive. They don't have the Sven up. It's a bit early for the Roche, unfortunately for Fnatic, but another good fight as they continue to move back into this game. Ajit needs to get himself out of the casket. Ooh, <laughs> good try by Puppy. Sunstrike. If you're a Fnatic fan, just keep praying to the RNG gods. So you, do you think the way that the game, let's say, keeps going like this, where both teams just trading kills, can Fnatic still win like that? I think they're more pressured to keep fighting, where Seeker can just farm because they have better farmers, mm -hmm. um, even in their supports. So. I think that's the one way that Fnatic win is they keep forcing fights, they keep taking objectives, they don't let Secret just win that war of attrition. Uh, if they're able to do that, I think they could still win, but I don't really envy Fnatic going late game with a even a six slotted PA versus an invoker level level twenty five invoker. He's already twenty versus a super farmed Sven. Yeah, I think we're also starting to see the disparity between the supports on both sides. I feel like the Witch Doctor and Sanking is doing way more and than... even i would say that even though yapsar has died a lot pretty early in these fights like imagine if he gets off multiple burrow strikes and isn't the focus right he could do, be doing a lot more than he is he's also level 19 which is kind of insane kazu is going for a shadow blade so perhaps a silver edge on on route soon after that and that that is the other thing if, if pa gets silver edge she is just screwed What do you think? Do you, do, you, do you see Fnatic being comfortable with this going another 20, 30 minutes? No, I don't think so either. I don't think the hero scale as well. I mean, there's the puck 420, but that's super late. Um, the BKB timer is also a big concern for QO. He's barely killing one person enough uh, with, with the BKB now. The likelihood of him running away with a team fight, like what we just saw now, is very, very low. Secret smoking in a deep dive for mid one, committing forward. Will he find anybody? He does open up on the Ancient Apparition here. Mid one now getting in with the Cold Snap. He has that BKB. Tornado coming through. Sunstrike as well, but Febby there to nice. soak up the damage. What a friend. What a bro. Now kiss. <laughs> oh, it is Febby in there. Let's not get too crazy here. <laughs> oh, it's all about this next Roche. And Secret, at least for now, have the positioning. Okay, Basher, that, that would help, you know, it allows him the, the option to go on some of these tankier cores. Like, I, I think Feb, or not Febby, I think Kyo's job at this point is to go on the Invoker and don't let him cast spells. And it will get easier with the Abyssal Blade. Yeah. Which he is working on now. Basher picked up, Vanguard picked up, Recipe. Gold is there, but realizing his importance this game, might opt to save for buyback for now. Yeah, Roshan coming back relatively soon, and if a fight breaks out, he does not have buyback. How big do you think PA's level 25 is? Double strike, stifling dagger. The double strike don't. agility. The double strike don't hit the same target, okay. so so you can't just like burst someone down. No, yeah. I think the agility is generally what you opt for getting. It doesn't feel like a game changer the way no the invoker AOE deafening blast is, for example, or the tornado. Working on the high ground, Fnatic. Using that Phantasm as we've seen a few times now. Cool by Febby, you know, it is a good scouting tool. He actually baits Yepsor in. Yepsor might get punished, but the Yule Scepter comes through trying to buy him time. And now Ajit looks to commit forward. Yepsor makes it out. Ohio's on the low ground. He's wondering where his team is, but they get caught by the Fissure. It's a three hero connection from Kezu. The dagger from distance coils only on MP. 
they forfeit their Ohio, they don't really trade much. And most of Secret's ability still ready. It's really just the Echo Slam that got dropped there. One more. Forcing his way in. The Yule Scepter comes through. Trying to keep DJ alive. Another Fissure. Another stun. It's on two. MP could clean up here. But he does get disabled for now. Forcing oh, Kinetic back to the high ground. No saves for you this time. Now Secret might just think about high ground. There's no buyback on either. It's, yeah. been, a, it's been a good effort from Fnatic. But Girl that isn't going to count for much if they can't pull something out of the hat. QO man's up. BKB commitment, but the Yules to Kite now turning for MP. Shrining up as well. He knows he's all in on this particular engagement. It's not going to happen for him. Secret do get forced on their heels a little bit, but now you know the PA BKB is down. You're going to have close to a minute where he can't realistically go in. So Fnatic just looked to stall. The Roche is online. Perhaps not feeling they have enough time to go for it. They will reset. Yeah, Secret respect the fact that the AA is coming back alive soon. You know, if they get five man ice blasted during a team fight, I think Fnatic could actually win those fights. Better be safe than sorry. Go back, reset, get the Roche. That is uh, the name of the game. Battle Fury on Sven for the CK Illusions. Really? I mean, they're not that scary. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm confused. Is it just for the Sprout, I guess? Because, yeah, it's probably just for the Sprout, so he doesn't get it. <laughs> I mean... I think it's like, you don't want to get rid of your Quelling Blade, but you want to get a new item. Sure, that, that makes a lot of sense there. Now we are in the pit. Epicenter is going to start things through. BKBs are used, and now he, he baits out the BKB, and Kyo Kyo goes in, but the Yule Scepter is going to bait him even further. Meanwhile, on the right side, Ohio trying to get people killed, but the... The Fissure is just blocking everybody off. So far, CK Whoa, is the only he one dies. get on this Invoker, but he's not able to focus on him. Now jumping in onto mid one. Doesn't have the Abyssal Blade yet. He's been saving for that buyback, and it might end up causing him no BKB. Oh Overwhelmed God. by nuke damage. Secret gets the kill. That Fissure really did shut them down. As did the target selection. He spent so much time focusing on Yapsor, and every time Yapsor gets jumped, he just yulzes himself. That is basically the whole BKB duration. Mid one is doing whatever he wants in these fights. Yep, I, I I still agree with the point where he just has to jump on mid one and kill mid one. It doesn't even matter if he kills Sand King. Who he needs cares? an abyssal to do that. Like yeah. he's been saving for buyback. I think you just have to risk it and buy the abyssal at this point. Well, not that, or you just have to pray for a hell mary. You're so far behind, just bash. You know, like who cares if you kill Sand King? What does killing Sand King accomplish in these fights? He's usually jumping him after he's used that first burrow anyway, so. Yeah. You know, it's think he's already offered some contribution, but. Well, a lot of pressure on the PA because of the way the game has unfolded. This is really past the window that Fnatic want to be even. Like, they want to ideally have all the other towers down, maybe have taken a tier three and some shrines. So, to be fair, like, this, this scenario isn't one that they envisioned when they constructed their draft. Keep the push going now. Got the cheese here on Puppy, trying to stall as much as possible. Alacrity up on MP. He's gonna knife through that tower's remaining HP. As soon as it falls, they'll be looking for Shrine. Maybe they stick around for a melee. Oh. They are pretty low, but the Sunstrike connection. Feppy's almost dead. Mid one. Oh, so oh, he does end up getting him. Just yep. burns him down with the Orchid. Mid one continues to find these crucial pickoffs down the stretch. And these pickoffs are so safe, right? Just going back to, you know, earlier in the game when Sanking was the one setting things up, or the Shaker, mid one never have to endanger himself. Very different style compared to Fnatic, where whenever they go for a kill, it's it's the whole team. It's PA throwing himself in, and it works half the time. Well, that Ice Blast at least scared Secret away from going for the Shrine, but... You have to imagine they'll be coming back in numbers relatively soon. I'm just one. Uh, at this point, I'm just scratching my head, Lumi. Like, where is the comeback going to come from? Ajit is still very far away from level 25. QO, well, I mean, he got his and did opt for the agility, by the way. But this doesn't feel like a one man PA kind of game. Better fight selection is all they could hope for. And that, of course, being set up by Vision, which pretty lacking for them. No wards on the map at all right now. I think Ice Vortex, on Yapsor, so. Ice Vortex has a spell like when, when two teams are having a Mexican standoff could really help out. But these team fights are breaking out so fast that I don't know if DJ has had the time to litter the map with Ice Vortex. 
There has been an Abyssal Blade purchased at last by QO. Okay, but Ohio sees Puppy coming by. But meanwhile, mid one has completed the Shiva's Guard, getting even more difficult to bring down. Jumping in though, Puppy, that's a very killable target. But Kazu is hunting him, goes for the Echo. Fisher coming through, the chain stun is there, and MP. Uh, oh, what BKB, the BKB right. blinking on out, goes for the oh, TP. That is a brave oh. TP. <laughs> He's like, Blur, save me. Ice Frog does not smile on the cowardly. I mean, that was the best play he could have made, you know? A real man would have fought, Lumi. And also just died <laughs> if he didn't have Blur, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you, you take that risk. Uh, Tornado finds Ohio, although I don't think he has vision. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm scratching my head as well. In terms of what Fnatic could do in this point. Blinks in, just goes straight up for the Raxus. Does have BKB and Aegis. Not triggering either of that ice blast is gonna come in. Nice four staff from the app store. Now MP looking for that melee. He gets stunned though. He's taking quite a bit of damage here. That last fight, perhaps PA buyback ready, but they really don't want to commit it now. And with that, the melee's down. Secret closing in on a crucial 2-0 victory. This will set up their liquid match to possibly decide, unless Fnatic finds something miraculous. But where is it gonna come from? The PA's dead, the CK. Also resting in a tomb under the fountain. Mid one continues the pummel. Takes down the range. Now gonna rotate back for that tier two top. Secret have them not only on the ropes, but one foot out of the ring now. Looking to slam the door. Divine Rapier? I'm, I'm, I'm just like... What else, right? Like, yeah, I mean, he's got to farm it. I don't, yeah. think, I don't know that he even gets time to. But yeah, I think if you can get something like that, it's worth the risk. The Solar Crest is a problem, too. Yeah. You know? There's a lot of problems. Many, many problems. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out a way where Fnatic even have a chance to stay in the game. Let's not talk about winning the game right now. Well, they need a win, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Divine's all I got. He is. Oh, oh another echo from Kezu, and again! Easy pick, that's a gem down. I don't know if Secret saw it. They may not have been paying attention. But in any case, likely find it soon. All right, Kazu's gonna pick it up. Yoink. All right, Fnatic is gonna get pushed in right now. Secret is, I mean, I don't think they need to fill reserve about anything. They, they feel so ahead. Now a hex for, for QL to deal with. Oh boy. Fnatic still Wrapping on as best they can, but yeah, QO's BKB down to just five seconds. No save for him. He jumps in bravely, but he instantly gets hex controlled. Now push back, four staffs, battering him okay. around, but he gets okay. the crit, he gets the kill! All right. All right, here we go. Head onto your hats, Fnatic, trying to find more. Jumping forward and looking for Puppy. QO's in position, but has to beware of mid one. He's still got his BKB as Hex is cooling down. They've gotten the spend. That's, That's a good one start. More. They need more, but he's walking through the ice wall. Pulled back by the CK. The BKB committed. Hex up. Now the epicenter. He gets pushed away. The four steps are saving oh. QO, but not long enough. He's he got the buyback. Down for a hundred. Sven's already spent his. He's pulled the trigger. It's now or never. I mean, you buy back now, or do you just give up the racks? No, I think and, you buy back now. And go for mid. Uh, okay, buy back. No BKB, that hex. Two hexes in a row, man. The four staff have been so good in terms of keeping him alive, but the buybacks will drive them back. Oh, they might even lose the range racks, they do, yeah. These siege units, the Bugatti's going hard on the melee racks. Even uh, committing the Abyssal there, just to ensure that Cardi yeah. doesn't get one extra shot off.
31k net worth lead here for Secrets. Showing their items. Is there a world we live in where we smoke and MP? He's he does not buy back. And you just go bottom? I mean invoker can rat you, right? Yeah. Pretty effectively. So I think it's hard even if you do. Whereas I think if you kill the PA, the game's over. Yes. Like this nature's prophet is not gonna be ratting with an orchid and a BKB. Here comes a smoke. It's again puppy. Puppy's just been in the right place to reveal these so many times. Even if he gets caught, he will scout out the puck and instantly force staffing away. They still continue their roam up to the shrine, hoping to strike Pater. They actually do see Kezu here oh, with the ward, but Febby, he clips himself. <laughs> he does the so. open the dust. He pulls Kezu down, but Kezu just race cars away. Oh, a missed opportunity for Fnatic. Oh my god, they're so unlucky. Now the, the four spirit has done the rat. Time to go back and deal with the pressure. Here comes Secret back down mid again. I imagine MP's gonna be a little quicker to BKB himself this time around. See if it matters. I think if you're Secret, you could just wait for the Aegis, right? MP had, I had his buyback use. I would certainly think you want it with MP not having yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Just a joke. Do Fnatic actually have any smokes left? Uh, not on the heroes. Very difficult Roche to contest without smoke. I mean, as we saw from the last team fight, miracles do happen, right? You just crit MP once through Warcry, get a kill. It's just you have to get crits right away, right? Because you're not, if you don't get that early kill, you're not hitting anyone. You'll just be yep. chain stunned. So he not only has to be lucky, he has to be lucky early in the fight. So luckier. Yeah, exactly. Extra lucky. It's fine. It's still possible. That's uh, that's the important thing. Nothing is impossible. That is the beauty Blood of TI. Fuel. And it's not impossible, they just get run over here. Four staff again, saving the day. QO, BKB dodge, perfect start to the fight. The Echo comes through, he shrugs it off, but he's not actually hitting anyone, and now he's on the run. Hexed up, controlled, death by the Cleaver again, and this time no buyback. Two minutes on the sideline, running rough shot through these other heroes. Secret are about to cinch the noose. Ohio with a desperate self-sprout, but MP eats his way in and kills him before he can even escape to that fountain. The well's not safe, though it might hold his corpse for the next game. GG the call. A 2-0 as Fnatic still cannot find their second game. Well, at best right now for Fnatic, they have to 2-0 their next match to have a chance to tie with Infamous. And that's counting on Infamous losing all their games. This is their survival at TI. Whereas Team Secret? It has to be very crushing for Fnatic to continuously be in some of these games and then just not be able to eke out the wins. Mm -hmm. But as for Secret, coming up clutch where it counts. Yep, so Secret, they got Team Liquid left, is that correct? Um, Yeah, they have Liquid left. If they 2 0 them, they finish 9 and 7. If they 1 1, they're 8 and 8. And if they get 2 0 they're 7 and 9. So I'm not sure, but I think they probably need the 2 0 to have a realistic shot. At the upper bracket, that would be my guess. Yeah, I, I think for Team Secret, it's important for them to play two good last games. You know, even if they start the main event at the lower bracket, this is a team that could climb out of the lower bracket. So yeah, they have players that can definitely come up clutch on the big stage. For sure. You're looking yeah. at, of course, probably the biggest playmaker right now, hey, Mr. Yapsor. So Secret, a good showing here, guys. That's it for me and Lumi for the day. But don't worry, fear not. There are four streams of continuous international 2017 action, and they are all continuing for a few more rounds. Stick around, we'll see you soon.